been our first home loss of the season. What did you think of the game? Look, I thought we were beaten by the better side. I thought Gator were outstanding. Um, we didn't reach the levels we have played so far this season. And this division is relentless. It don't stop. And Rob did a fantastic job today, tactically as well. So I've got to look at myself for that. Um, we wanted to press them. So we had some good moments in the first 20 minutes without hurting them. We did an unbelievable chance early, early on. Idris has a glorious chance, not clean enough in his play. And some of the players realistically just didn't reach the levels that they've set. Um, the big thing for us now is we just can't be too disappointed. We've got to move on to the next game because this division is relentless. At half time, we went from the back three to the back four, I think, and then we went back to back three. What was what were you looking for with that change, and then what didn't go to plan? Look, we just wanted to press them better so we could tackle their centre halves. I think that was so important. Um, obviously, rubbish goal we gave away. Uh, too deep, our lines too deep. Uh, the fouls too cheap from Cokes. Um, I did think, though, I have to be honest, I thought their right wing back was outstanding. I thought he was the best player on the pitch by an absolute mile. And the ball in's floaty. Um, could Laurie come for it? I would have liked to see him come for it. And then obviously the next phase, there's loads of little bits of luck in there for them and they managed to poke at home. So to concede after changing systems really frustrating. And then the next 15, uh, 10, 15 minutes, we had some great chances. Hit the post, loads of crosses, a lot more entries. Um, Gator are a team that don't really deal with entries that well. So we wanted to get as many set pieces and entries into their box as we can, show a different way of playing. But if I'm being honest, we just didn't get to the levels that we that we need to get to, to beat a team like this. We struggled to get those chances, especially for Nicky Kabamba, who's a great aerial threat. How much did that limit us and why didn't we get him those chances? I thought Nicky's timing of his heading was poor. I thought we gave him enough crosses. Um, look, without obviously remembering every phase and watching the game back, I just thought... Look, in the end, sometimes in life, you just got to tip your hat to the opposition and just say they were better than us. And I could look back, reflect myself. Did I select the right team? Did I play the right system? I've been playing the same system all season, so I did change to four in one game, um, and that worked. Um, so look, there's loads of reflection upon the game, um, and there's no better man to look at himself in the mirror and tell it if, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So at the end of the day, I obviously was wrong because we lost. So, but sometimes in life, you just got you know the opposition much better than us today, cleaner in possession. Uh, more trek going forward, better running down the sides than us, um, and some of our players really didn't play particularly well. How much did it affect us not being able to play through or over their really good press in that first half, especially? Yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. We wanted, like I said, we wanted to get it wide as much as we could, get as many crosses in the boxes as much as we could, and they didn't allow us to do that. So full credit to them. And then finally, what needs to change going into the Oldham game on Wednesday? <laughs> Forty-two points in twenty games. I don't think that's bad, mate. I've got to be honest with you, um, the division's relentless. Um, what needs to change? The players need to get to the standards that they set themselves. You know, me included, the coaching staff included. Like I say, I'll reflect upon the game myself and ask myself, did I make the right selection? Have I made the right subs? Um, did we try and right this week? Loads of things have come in my mind. Um, but, yeah, what needs to change? The players need to reach their standards. You tell me who played well today for us. And nobody. Not what they've been used to be playing for the other 19 games. So nobody played particularly well. Um, and my job is to help the players. I'm not blaming the players. For me as well. You know what I mean? Did I, like I say, right selection, right substitutions? Um, some of the players I left out. Did we train right this week? Loads of different questions. And they'll all be answered come Monday morning. So they don't stop. I don't go home now and just relax. You know, everyone goes home and probably goes to the pub and mounds and grounds. And that's how it works. That's football. That's the business. I go home now and watch the game back and ask how we get better. Um, and that's really as simple as it is for us. Um, I'm not too disappointed because we're beaten by a good side. I don't mind losing to good sides. They're a really good side. They've got plenty of good young players. I think there was 20 odd scouts here today. And they've got a few players, no doubt, that on you know from the AFL on their list. So, and so have we as well. But like I say, today we just really just come up short against a better team. Dean, thanks for your time.